Hey, Wagwan. Yeah, man, it's Mr. Garthrid here. And I'm back with another CSEC Mathematics Past Paper question. All right. And this is from the January 2021 Past Paper. Okay. And here it says that we are to factorize the following expression completely. That is 12n squared minus 4mn. All right. Now, you need to notice this word, all right, completely. And we're going to talk about what that means soon, all right, when it says to factorize completely. Because sometimes it can be factorized, but just not factorized completely, okay? So let's look at it now, all right? We're going to factor this expression. So I can say that 12n squared minus 4mn is equal to what? Well, let us look at it carefully. You have n squared in the first term and you have n in the second term. So it means that n is a common factor. So we're gonna factor that n. If you look where the numbers are concerned, you have 12 and four, all right? Now the highest common factor there would be four, okay? So when we factor out four, what are we gonna have remaining? Well, what I'm going to do is to divide the first term by whatever we are factored out. So we're dividing 12n squared by the 4n, all right? So I know that I can cancel out here, right? Four into itself goes one and four into 12, is three right and also i can subtract the powers here all right we have n squared divided by n and this is n to the power of one so the rule says that you have to subtract the powers so this is three times n right so two minus the one will give you the one as the power for n all right i hope that was clear you should remember your laws of indices which says that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n equals a to the power of m minus n, all right? Which simply means that once you have the same base, all right, here our base is n, then you can subtract the powers. So m minus n meaning two minus the one, okay? Good. So it means that the first term in my bracket is going to be 3n. Okay, great. Now we're going to look at the second term there, which is the negative 4mn. And we're dividing that by whatever we have factored out outside, which is the 4n. Okay. Now clearly you can see that the 4s here will cancel out. All right, also the ends will cancel out. All right, so what I'm left with is the negative m. Okay, so it means that in my brackets, I'm going to have minus m. Okay, and that is now factorized completely. Great. Now, let me just come here to the side now and write what some students may do, all right? And, and then we're gonna talk about what that completely means, the part that says completely. So if I have 12 n squared minus four mn, I could say that this is equal to, I know that two can go into four and two can go into 12. So some students may factor out a two all right, and then they recognize that the ends the ends are common, so you factor out an n. So you factor out a two n, okay? And we're gonna do the same process, which is dividing each term by whatever we have factored out. So we're gonna divide the twelve n squared by the two n, okay? So I know that two into itself is one. Two into twelve goes six. Okay, and we know that this is n to the power of one. So this is gonna give us six times n, 
right? Because the rule says they subtract the power, so it's two minus one, which is one as the power. So the first term in the brackets is gonna be six m, right? I'm just writing what some students may do in the examination, okay? Because I've seen it happen a lot. Okay, so the first term is six n, let us now focus on the other term, which is the negative four m n, and we are dividing that by whatever we have factored out, which is the 2n. Now, clearly we see that the n's will cancel out. Okay. The n's will end up canceling out. And I can also say that two into itself goes one, two into four goes two. Okay. So it means that what I, what I will have here, what I will have here now is going to be a, what? A negative two M, right? That is what is remaining. So I can have negative two M here. Good. Now, if this is factorized, this is what many students might do, right? Because this is really factorized, but it is not factorized completely. How do I know that? Well, let us look here. We have a six here and we have a two here. What does that tell us? We know that six can be divided by two and two can also be divided by two. So it means that we could also factor out a two. All right. We could also factor out a two as well. Okay. So if you factor out the two, you will still get back the four N. 3n minus m, all right, which is our original answer here. Okay, good. So many students might take this, this approach. However, it can be factorized further. Okay, so once you look in the brackets and you recognize that, okay, this is fully factorized because 3 is divisible by itself, yes. However, one is not divisible by three, all right? So we know that this is now fully factorized. Great, or factorized completely, all right? So that is our solution, four n multiplied by three n minus m, okay? If this video was helpful for you, please ensure to like up the video and subscribe to the channel, all right? I am Mr. Garth Reed. Student Ambassador for the University of Technology, Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.